Hello everybody and welcome back to another video, but this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be how to download and install WinRAR, LCPDFR mod, ELS mod, Spark 4, and any vehicle models that you might want. Now this was per viewer request, but I'd already thought about it and so I figured why not do it. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to go to WinRAR.com, you want to click this blue button, it says Win Download WinRAR, take it to this screen. It will say download WinRAR again, same blue button, this green. And we'll wait 5 10 seconds and it'll start downloading. Now, once it downloads, you want to double click it, click yes, click install. That's it. It should do it by itself. Okay? But I already have it installed, so I'm going to click cancel. Now, to download LCPDFR, we go to LCPDFR.com. I'm going to go up here to downloads. I want to click the very first LCPD first response. You want to go to this screen. We'll click the green download button right beside Donate to Author. Go to this screen. You're going to click the blue a green download button. It's going to be below all the copyright bullshit nobody reads. <laughs> go to this screen. The green download button right beside the name of the file you're downloading. It'll wait about 10 seconds and then you go find it. And you want to double click it. Click Run. Click yes. We'll click next. We'll click next. And you, then here you're just gonna want, want to find your directory folder, which is where your main GTA folder is. Now for me, it is in computer, Windows. Go all the way down. Program files, parentheses x86, another parentheses. Okay, gonna go all the way down to Steam. Go all the way down. To Steam Apps, go to Common, go to Grand Theft Auto 4, and GTA 4 again. Then you'll click OK, and then it'll go through a series of other windows to down to install it. And it's very simple. Then at the end, it should say OK installed. Okay. Now I already have it installed, so I'm gonna click Cancel. Now let's go get the ELS mod. Now I I googled ELS mod GTA 4 download. I clicked this right here. And it brought me to this screen. Okay, GTA modding dot it. Okay, there's a Luxart police car. Then there's a black download button with 2.82 megabytes. Okay, here's the folder. You want to go to version A. All right, then you want to go find. No, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> go to computer. Go to your directory again. Program files. Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4. You want to drag and drop all of this, all of it, every single bit of it into here. Now you may have to do it three, four times depending on the way Renoir acts. Some kind of, sometimes it can act kind of funny, and it just sometimes it might take three, four tries. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to download Spark 4. Spark 4, for whatever reason, was a bit of a bitch to download this time. Uh, I, had, I couldn't really find the point, uh, 0.7 beta, but uh, I found it, and I clicked right here. And then you're going to click right here. It's going to download. Okay, and double-click it. Double-click Spark 4 XE. Okay, now, what you're going to do is you're going to click GTA IV, and it's going to bring you to a menu that looks like this. Now, we're going to pretend that this is the GTA IV folder uh, browse for folder menu okay even though it's the EL EFLC we're just gonna pretend okay so what you're gonna do I wanna go down to computer windows program files steam go down to steam apps common Grand Theft Auto 4 you wanna click GTA IV, okay? That's what we're going to pretend. I know that the only reason why that is because it's EFLC, okay? Then we'll click GTA IV, okay? Sometimes it might say not responding, but just give it a minute and it will, it will work. Now, to install vehicle models, you want to go down all the way down to CD images, it's right below models, above scripts and textures, okay? You want to click vehicles image, double click that, go bring you to this screen, okay? Now, you have that open. Now let's go download a, a new police car model. 
okay I went to GTA 4 mods.com there are countless numbers of sites to download these models okay but since we installed ELS you have to make sure that it is ELS enabled okay if it's not then it won't really work right the lights will look all funky and crap okay so you want to click download then go to where you had it go to where it went okay I made a folder LCPDFR okay want to open that now what I suggest okay yes it's not free after yes okay but that's bullshit it's a lie <laughs> all right you have this right here see it see it see it okay now what I suggest to make LCPDFR folder then make a models folder then make a whatever V whatever the car's name is this is a sob all right I'm gonna take this and drag and drop all these in here okay this is just makes it easier to find the uh, vehicles whenever you go to import them from spark 4 now you go to spark 4 go to import okay go to go to your folder now it's in models it's in sob then you just drag and open okay now it doesn't look like it did anything but you press P you see that police WTD and police WFT is both blue that means it did work okay then you just click save some people say rebuild I never do it okay then you click save again and close and that's it okay so I hope this was helpful if it wasn't then I'm sorry and also be careful whenever you download certain uh, models sometimes they will crash your game and they're just they don't work right I've multiple times in the past week three four models just would not work so uh, I hope it wasn't too long of a video and uh, being bear in mind that all the links that you might need will be in the description I promise okay so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time goodbye